Doctor Who fans and Doctor Who reviews, and welcome to another review by me. It's of my two Torchwood figures, my only two so far. Um, it's of Captain Jack with his revolver and out his jacket, and this monster. I've forgotten what it's called. I've watched its episode, but I'll first go on to Captain Jack. Well, they all come with stands, if you're wondering. And so I'll just put that there. Now then, um... Well, I'll start off with his gun, then I'll do articulation. Articulation, though. Mm, hello, and here is his gun. Now then, it's very nicely detailed. You know the one he, you get him with the Doctor Who version of him, with um the the revolver and has his jacket on. That's um, it's a different sculpt to that, and it's painted black there. Anyway, to you can do the scene of the end of time figure. Um, with when you do when he was gonna shoot Russell on or the master. Boo, boo, boo. So that's his gun over with. Now articulation. I think the head can spin three hundred and sixty degrees. Actually, I'm not gonna try it because, as you can see, I've got the odd paint scratch there. You may be able to see it. He can spin 360 degrees at the arms, he can bend at the elbows, do 360 degrees at the hands, he um, can sit down, he can sit down, but the waist, can he? Yes he can, but my figure's really stiff, so 360 degrees at the waist. And um, you can s you can kneel, and that's about it for its articulation. Now then, this figure is really cool. It has his watch, the pouch for his revolver, and it has his time thing. It would be nice if you had a bit of articulation there, so you can see him using that what is it i've forgotten what it's called but it's actually got it there it'd be nice if it came with a coat you know to put on and off you know do you see what i mean and his face quite bad you can't see it much on this camera but he looks like he's cross-eyed like an idiot quite frankly his hair's all right just his eyes look like he's cross-eyed quite bad really not impressed so um the shoes are nice it's all nice um but the cross eyedness because we don't want him looking like an idiot do we when we're playing with him you know um so um i kind of recommend it i'll give it a nine out of ten because it's a brilliant figure but it's cross-eyed. So, um, recommend it a bit. Well, it's your decision, really, but mine is a bit of a recommending. So, anyway, all these tortured figures are on sale in one of the shops in town. So I'll put that there. So, he, this is quite a nice figure, really. It's the monster. Now, his head... I don't know if his head can spin 360 degrees. Please tell me. But, um... Go like that. You can spin 360 degrees there. You can do that. You can... Bend at the elbows, 360 degrees at the hands. Ball jointed at the there. Look, so he can go like. 
Um, I can spin 360 degrees there. It can bend at the knees. It can walk. This is really stiff. Got this for Christmas. Spin three. Spin 360 degrees there. And that's about it for articulation. I'm going to find you. So, good articulation. But the face, it's not much to say about this figure because it's quite nice, really. The pockets, the clothes, the way he's angry, like... <sighs> Really nice. It's just my dad on the phone. He just looks so nice. The way his arms are about ready. Ready to destroy Jack. I'll give this figure a 10 out of 10. I highly, highly recommend that you go out and buy it. They're on sale in the shops, I think. So, um, next time... I may be reviewing. Okay, doesn't matter. Um, that's just my dad on the phone. Just listening in. Um, it'll either be Mickey, Mickey, and the Doctor with five adiposes. Because I'm going to start off with doing double reviews, two figures for a bit. Could be Sea Devil and Zygon. My Cyber Age of Steel set. Time Lords. Anything. So.